Clan Chatton is a unique Scottish clan with a fascinating history. Unlike other Scottish clans, Clan Chatton was not a conventional clan. Instead, it evolved into a confederation or alliance of clans made up of various families. This confederation was known for the wild cat which figures prominently in their heraldry. The origins of Clan Chatton are somewhat uncertain, but the most widely accepted theory suggests that they descended from Gilichatton Moore, the great servant of Saint Catan. Around the time of Malcolm II, they became possessed of lands at Jeanloy and Loch Arcaig, where Tor Castle became the chief's seat. However, little is known about the clan until it became established around Loch Arbor at the close of the 13th century. Prior to the 14th century, Clan Chatton appears to have been a conventional clan, but it evolved into a confederation or alliance of clans made up of various families. These families included the descendants of the original clan, Macphersons, Catanacs, Macbeans, Macphails, Macintoshes and their cadet branches, Shaw, Farquharsons, Ritchies, Macombies, McThomas, and families not originally related by blood, McGillivarys, Davidsons, Maclains of Dockgarrock, Macquees of Pollockaig, Macintyres of Badenoch, Macandrews. The Reformation and the general turmoil in Scotland after the downfall of Mary, Queen of Scots, was a difficult time for the Confederation. In an attempt to consolidate their power, a gathering was summoned in 1609 by William Macintosh of Benchar, the uncle of the 17th Macintosh chief who was still in his minority, to meet at Termit, where the leaders of the families swore a bond of union and loyalty to Macintosh. In the risings of 1715 and 1745, Clan Chatton declared for the Stuarts, and suffered as a consequence. The suppression of the Highlands after the 45 undermined the nature of the Confederation, and its members largely sought independent destinies. The major families continued to dispute the vestiges of power, but no more violently than in heated debate favor the court of the Lord Lion, and Mackintosh was declared to be chief of the name of Mackintosh, and of the Clan Chatton. The chiefs of Clan Mackintosh continued as captains of Clan Chatton until 1947, when Duncan Alexander Mackintosh of Torcastle was recognized by the Lord Lion as 31st chief of Clan Chatton. Today, Clan Chatton continues to have a rich cultural heritage, and is celebrated for its contributions to Scottish history. The present chief lives in Zimbabwe, but the spirit of Clan Chatton continues to be celebrated in Scotland and around the world. The history of Clan Chatton is a testament to the strength and resilience of Scottish culture and its people.